Playing my career in NBA 2K20 is a lot about finding a build that best fits your play style and optimizing it as best as you can. Thinking you're Steve Nash mixed with Russell Westbrook when you aren't ready for that responsibility yet can have you looking suspect. So with this video I'm going to go over a few beginner builds that cover different play styles to get any newcomer started in NBA 2K20. So alright let's get it. The first build I'm going to go over is the rebounding wing. Even though I'm making them at small forward, you can also make them at shooting guard where you can get one or two more badges in each category. So you can follow the template here. I'm going with small forward for this because in program you're going to play the four a lot as well. So being able to rebound is great. And in part this build can shine as the small ball big man as it can guard multiple positions. But for the actual position you're playing, basically you're creating a 3 and D player. Lockdown perimeter defense who can grab boards with better shooting stats. Because you're going to have terrible ball handling, you're mainly a spot up shooter on offense. While the ratings aren't the best, you're going to get a good amount of shooting badges to help offset that. Especially since you're mainly going to only want to take wide open shots. So to start, we're going to select the green and red shooting and defense rebounding pie chart, which is fourth from the bottom. For our rebounding wing, I'm going to go with the balance pie chart because as mentioned in Pro-Am, when he slides to the 4, I want him to play the 4 and not get sun when he does. So a base strength of 76 is going to come in handy and be 2 speed points and acceleration points slower than the second best chart. The strength pie chart would have been it if the vertical was a bit better to help with the rebounding and such. Alright, for your points, you want to max out your close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk, and then put your post hook on 38 to end up with 8 finishing badges. For shooting, max out your mid-range shot, 3 point, free throw, and put your post fade on 49 so you end up with 14. As shooting guard, you end up with 18 shooting if you max out everything, and 15 if you follow this setup. Now you don't want to touch your playmaking. And for defense, put your interior defense on 70 and max out the rest of your defensive badges. So you end up with 20 defensive badges. At guard you get 21 badges here if interested. So you should end up with an 8, 14, 1, and 20 split. And at guard with the same setup, it was a 9, 15, 1, and 21. So you get an extra badge in finishing, shooting, and defense and rebounding. If you want to add more playmaking and totally forget finishing, you can throw all your finishing points at playmaking and max your post fade. And now you have gained 5 more badges by doing that if you don't want to make them as burly. For body shape, put whatever you want, but for this build, let's put it on build. I'm gonna leave him at 6'7, which is the max height you can make him at shooting guard. And max weight at 255 to boost your strength to a nice 85 and improves his interior defense by 6. And max his wingspan, which drops your 3 point rating, but will help your defense, and you have 14 badges for shooting anyway. Now for your takeovers you'll get glass cleaner, lockdown defender, and spot up shooter. And for this build, we're going to go with Lockdown and make him a complete tear on that side of the ball. And with all of your top, comp is Sean Marion, which, which isn't bad. Okay, for finishing badges, I will go Silver Giant Slayer because he's only 6'7". Silver Contact Finisher, Pro Touch, and Slithery Finisher. For playmaker, throw it on Bronze Break Starter so you can launch long range passes after boards. For defensive rebounding, Hall of Fame Interceptor and clamps to make you as tough as a perimeter defender as possible and Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Gold box, silver intimidator and chase down artists, and bronze pickpocket. And lastly for shooting, gold quick draw and dead eye, Hall of Fame hot zone hunter, gold catch and shoot, and bronze green machine to be the best catch and shoot guy you can be. This build I just made is set up to master his role on offense as an off ball threat, basically forcing you not to do too much else because you will get stripped. And is also ready to slide down to the floor at a moment's notice and grab boards and shoot. Next is the shooting glass lock. Which is the best center build who can get stops on defense while being able to shoot a bit so you're not just relegated to setting screens and never getting the ball when you roll. And we're going to go to the red and green pie chart to do this. Which is defending and shooting instead of a pure glass lock. So we're downgrading a bit on defense and boards with the ability to now shoot jumpers. Which can benefit you in games when all your opponent sees is glass lock when you have a good amount of shooting badges to work with. We've all been burned by this a few times when they pull up from deep when you're thinking this whole time there have been Simmons from out there. And the best position for this is going to be at center. For your physical profile, I opt for the equal parts pie, which is the last one. 
Now for your point distribution, you want to max your close shot, put your driving layup on 45, and max your driving dunk, standing dunk, and post hook. For shooting, max out all your shooting stats. And you don't want to touch any of your playmaking. And for defense, max your interior defense, block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound. So you should end up with a 12, 17, 1, and 20 spread. Body shape, let's go slight. For height, let's drop them down to 611. And for where you want to go, let's say 272, or right when it gives you 90 strength and plus 6 interior defense. And then you want to give him a 92 inch wingspan or right before his max. And with that, your takeover should be rim protector and glass cleaner. And glass cleaner is what we're opting for. For finishing badges, gold contact finisher, consistent finisher, and silver put back ball, slithery finisher, and giant slayer, since you will most likely be shorter than your defender. For shooting, gold quick draw, bronze pick and popper, hall of fame hot zone hunter, Silver Dead Eye and Corner Specialist, Gold Catch and Shoot, and Silver Range Extender. For playmaking, you want to get Bronze Break Starter. And for defense rebounding, Hall of Fame Box, Hall of Fame Brick Wall, Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, Silver Worm and Rim Protector, and Bronze Clamps, Post Move Lockdown, Intimidator, and Interceptor. You want to have them as much of a beast as possible on the boards, but not super exposed guarding the perimeter, you know? And next is a pure slasher. As a pure slasher, you obviously will have less responsibility on offense as your only job will be to drive, hop, step, and get buckets. And as shooting guard, your ball handler isn't going to be suspect doing this while getting good shooting badges. Playing 5-on-5 five five to spacing might not be ideal for you most of the time, but with friends and in the park, you will be able to maximize its capabilities. To start, you click the very first pot chart, and it's mostly blue. And for your physical profile, I went with the strength agility chart. I'll sacrifice the vert to have decent speed to get by people and high enough strength to throw it down. Now for your points, max out all your finishing attributes and you should end up with 30 finishing badges. For shooting, you want to max out your mid-range, free throw, and post fade. So you should have eight shooting badges. For playmaking, pass accuracy, and ball handle should go all the way up. And for defense rebounding, max out your perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal, and defensive rebound. And you should end up with a 30, 8, 13, and 6 split. For body shape, whatever you want. But for his hype, I keep him at 6'5". I want minimum weight to gain back some speed and default wingspan. For his takeovers, you get Playmaker and Slasher. And we're obviously going to go with the Slasher takeover. For shooting badges, Silver Quick Draw, Silver Hot Zone Hunter, Silver Slippery Off Ball, and Silver Flexible Release. For playmaking, you want to go silver bailout for your failed hop step attempts, gold ankle breaker, gold quick first step, gold handles for days, bronze downhill, and bronze unpluckable. Give me some of the best badges to break your defender off and get into the paint. For defense, I'll go with silver clamps and intimidator with bronze interceptor and pick dodger. And lastly, for finishing. Hall of Fame Contact Finisher is an ASAP Purple, Consistent Finisher, Giant Slayer, Fancy Footwork, and Slithery Finisher with Gold Relentless Finisher, Silver Live City Finisher, Silver Fast Break Finisher, Silver Cross Key Scorer, and Bronze Pro Touch. Hop steps are hard to stop, so whatever, have fun with it with this build. And lastly, if you're a low maintenance big who still would like his time to shine in the paint when the time comes, Paint Beast is a good option. With how effective some post moves are in 2K20, don't hesitate to bet it all and make a paint beast to hit 90% contest hook shots all game. Set screens, grab boards, and dunk on people. And we're gonna get our paint beast with the red and blue pie chart, which is finishing and defense rebounding. And it's the fourth one from the top. For your physical, the last pie chart gives you the most bang for your buck in each category. 
for your points, max out your close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk, and post hook. And you don't want to touch any of your shooting. All your action is going to be inside the paint. As for your playmaking, max out your pass accuracy. Put your ball handling on 43 and post moves on 77 to get 12 playmaking badges. Now for defense, max out interior defense. Put your perimeter defense on 52 and then max out your block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound. And you should end up with a 22, 1, 12, and 23 split. As a power forward, the max badge you can get is 22 on defense. And we have 23 without touching the other categories. And you only get one more finishing badge as to why we're going with center instead of power forward. Body shape, let's put it on Berlin. And I'm going to drop my center down to 6'11 as it only really decreases your blocking interior defense by 1 and 2 points. While I gained a bunch of upgrades elsewhere. Now for his weight, you want to put the big boy on 269. Then you want to max his wingspan out to get plus 5 block. And for your takeover, you get rim protector and glass cleaner. Either one is fine, but I'm going with rim protector takeover for now. And his comp is Shaq, so that's good. Alright, going from least to most badges. For shooting, bronze deep fades. For playmaker, you want to go with gold, post spin technician, and quick first step. Silver bailout, unpluckable, and break starter. These are totally up to you, but for how I play these badges, we'll optimize that the most. For finishing, Hall of Fame contact finisher, pro touch, and slithery finisher. Silver fancy footwork, gold consistent finisher, and relentless finisher, and bronze live city finisher and pick and roller. You can even swap out something like pick and roller for back down punisher, but mainly playing 5 on 5 modes, you're not going to have enough time usually to push the dude all the way under the hoop, but it's still an option on like the park and stuff. And lastly, for defense, rebounding. Hall of Fame brick wall, box, and rebound chaser. Gold run protector and interceptor. And bronze, we got a few clamps, chase down artists, worm, pogo stick, and intimidator. And this build ends up with six Hall of Fame badges, six gold, and four silver. And is ready to dominate inside the paint. Sorry, sports gamers, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything we put out. And if you disagree with the list, what are some other beginner builds that you think will serve newcomers well? Let me know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K20 content. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.